Hey, Denise Wellick Peterson, Hormone Boot Camp here. Lunchtime Live today on Supplement Week. We are talking about vitamin B and vitamin D. So, in menopause, sometimes we have a lot of brain fog, sometimes we have um, some fatigue. We have, we start noticing our hair is coming out, right? Hair loss is a for real thing. Muscle pain, bone health. Bones, guys, are a huge, huge thing that really starts, the calcium from our bones really starts to get leached when we are in menopause, so we really need to protect our bones. But most importantly, we need to protect our energy and our, our mental state, right? And that's where Bs and Ds will really, really come in. So first of all, vitamin B. Bs come in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, some of them are not so common. B12, B6, B5, B3, B1, B2, thiamine, niacin, um, folate, right? We hear them in all these names, right? So when you're looking for a B vitamin, best to look for a multi-B, like not a multivitamin with Bs in it, but a, a B with all of the Bs in it, right? Um, also look for a methylated version. It is more digestible, more usable. Um, and all those bees work together, right? Rather than like, I just need folate, you need them all, okay? So get the methylated version, that's the best way to get it. And remember, of course, I am not a doctor, I do not want to play one on the internet. You do you, look up what you gotta look up, get tested what you gotta get tested, and I know a couple things. Okay, uh, bees, BBB, is good for brain fog and concentration. It's great for your hair and nails, like, want some of those things to be growing, get your get your bee. Bees also help relieve stress and they are huge on the energy boosting scale, right? So super important things. Foods that you can get more B vitamins in include spinach, broccoli, and beets, turnip greens, lots of the dark green leafies. Um, also, because we're looking at all the bees here, Tuna, beef, chicken, peppers, liver, clams, and cheese. Those are all great sources of the vitamin Bs. Mix it up. Don't get all your Bs from cheese. I know some of you are very happy about cheese. All right. Next on to the vitamin Ds. D is a really big deal because D is not only a vitamin, but in our bodies, it acts like a hormone. It acts like a messenger from brain Hormones are messengers from brain to body, right? Vitamin D also works that way. So it's really important that we get enough vitamin D. Now, um, vitamin D, a lot of us think, oh, we get that from the sun. Yes, we do. And that sun has to have direct contact with your skin and your eyeballs. So I live in Minnesota. You know how much of my skin gets vitamin D right now? My hands on walks gets a little bit of vitamin D but I'm wearing sunglasses. I don't get a lot of unfiltered vitamin D through my eyes. Um, even in the summertime, it's possible to not get enough vitamin D through the sunshine if you wear a lot of sunscreen. Again, you filtered, when you put that filter on your face, on your skin, you're not getting the vitamin D that you think you are, right? So really important if you're relying on the sunshine that you do some sunscreen free time. I'm not saying 12 hours on July 4th, I'm saying a half an hour kind of thing, right? Um, so just have that awareness around the sunshine. Second note to sunshine, if you live anywhere north of Florida, you're not getting enough sunshine right now. You're not getting enough vitamin D. You really need to max out on that vitamin D. It's hard to OD on vitamin D when you live in Minnesota in December, right? So where the RDA, we talked about RDA a little bit yesterday, recommended daily allowance is like 400 IUs, optimal levels significantly higher in the winter. So myself, my personal self, I take about 10,000 IUs a day and I'm nowhere near overdosing. No, I've never had my levels checked, but just ask my husband. He knows my Ds were a little bit low this last week right? Maybe you know, maybe you have seasonal affective disorder. You might want to get those vitamin D levels checked, or you can just start adding some in 5,000 IUs at a time. Okay. So what does D's, what do the D's help? What does D help? D helps with depression. 
D helps with fatigue. D helps with bone health, helps with hair loss and muscle pain. So I was talking to a client last night. She was telling me how her daughter had lots and lots and lots and lots of pain in her feet. Um, and nutrition was never brought into the reality of it all, right? And now all of a sudden her hands are hurting. And I'm like, you know what? Might not be a bad idea. I mean, she lives in North Dakota to have her have her vitamin D levels checked. I'm not saying nutrition solves everything, but I'm saying sometimes we've got to look at our deficiencies and see if there's something we can do a little bit more naturally to help the things out, right? So vitamin D is kind of important. And if you're not living in Florida or South Florida, you need to probably get that checked out. Okay, outside of sunshine, how else can you get vitamin Ds? I want you to think about those fruits and vegetables that are colored like the sun, like carrots, apricots, peaches, squash, mangoes, peppers, especially those yellow and orange and red ones, um, and some fish. You're going to get vitamin D from some fish. So for those of you that don't like to supplement, that's fine, but you're eating a lot of the orange fruits, right? Fruits and vegetables. If you have any other questions, be sure you drop them in the comments. I'm more, to happy, more than happy to come back around and answer those questions later. Um, if you're not part of the Menopausal Project Facebook group, I'd invite you to come join us out. We have lots of other interesting topics like this. We go into discussion. We have lots of support. But also, have you gotten your free supplement cheat sheet for menopause? Um, check the bio for the link or check the comments. Have a most fantastic afternoon.